save 10% with my code Bobby10. Just kidding, guys. Today's offer is much greater than a saving of 10%. I teamed up with my Muslim brothers and we created Pure Passage. Imagine sending the reward of Umrah this Ramadan to someone you really loved but had already departed from this dunya. Or they're really sick and they cannot perform Umrah at all. Imagine the feeling of honoring his or her memory and expressing your love and devotion while still ensuring that they receive this gift. The reward of performing Umrah. As a new revert, I just learned about this, but you know better than me that performing Umrah is a profound spiritual journey that most Muslims aspire to undertake and you understand the rewards of it. However, for some, this journey can be challenging, especially when their loved ones are sick or have already passed away. At Pure Passage, we understand how important it is to fulfill this obligation for your loved ones. That's why we offer our professional and reliable service to perform Umrah on behalf of your sick or deceased parents, spouse or any other relatives. We believe that everyone should have the opportunity to fulfill this sacred act even if they are unable to do so themselves and equally understand that the physical and financial challenges of performing Umrah yourself on behalf of your loved ones can be overwhelming. That's where Pure Passage comes in. We take care of everything and make sure that your loved one's Umrah is performed with the utmost care and attention to detail. So let us help you earn this immense reward for your loved ones by performing Umrah on their behalf. Contact us today and let's make it happen. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today's super interesting video. We're going to react to Islam is Growing in Mexico by the channel IERA. To me, as a recent revert, it is of course not surprising that Islam is growing. However, I do have to admit that it is surprising that it is growing in Mexico because Mexico has a humongous Catholic culture. They are so intertwined that it is almost impossible to imagine Mexico without Catholicism. Nevertheless, we do know as well that Catholicism is not the original Mexican religion. It has been imposed by the conquistadors. Before that, the Mexican used to be what we from the West would call pagans. When I visited South America, I saw that there were many practices from that very paganism still remaining to this very day. It was a mixture of Catholicism and the old religions. However, now it is very interesting to see that Mexico is emancipating itself basically by choosing its own religion. It is not presupposed. And as you can see, people are not reverting to their old religions. However, they are seeking Islam by themselves. I'm super excited for today's video guys with no further ado let's have a look we estimate around between 600 and 800 visitors every month so if we do the math i would say around 20 over 20 every day alhamdulillah we are located in a very good place in the city of guadalajara so We're 20 just Atlanta, per month. right outside of the main subway station it's good so we are quite visible and people is getting consciousness, awareness of what Islam really is, alhamdulillah. Every month we are getting between 10 and 15 shahadas per month. Especially when it comes to Ramadan. It's so interesting in to see, man. South Americans, especially when they let their beard grow, look like Arabs. It's amazing. Shahadas every day. We did some interviews in the, in the last few days uh, to revert Mexicans. And something in common that they have mentioned is that they want more visits from the Muslims. Many of them, or the majority of them, they are the, Muslim, the only Muslim in town. So they have no communication, they have no community, they have no mosque or musala to attend so that they can learn. So they, they were saying, we need a place where we can gather because we also did dawah and the, the people that approached them, they were always asking, okay, so this is very nice, this is really interesting. Now, where do I go to learn more? Where, where mm. do you guys gather to pray, to study the, the, the book? 
It's so. very tough to hold on to a belief system if you are the only one. You have to be very strong minded. It's not impossible, but having a support system will help you, of course. This is why it is important to establish Dawa centers and local mosques. So we need places, Absolutely. we need more places so that the Muslims can gather and learn their religion. For the sure. Mexican people, I think they are really open to Islam. Like the group of students, high school students that just attended, I was make improving questions to see how they think, what they find about Islam. And they say, what I hear right now, I think is the truth. You're giving me even more details. Like for example, you can see the Jesus exhibition here, right? And they were saying, you are giving me even more information about Mary, about Jesus, than my own religion, which is Christianity. <laughs> they are very eager to learn. They're very, they have a lot of curiosity about Islam. They have a lot of curiosity about the Muslims. This is something completely new to them. There are many ways that people can support us, there are many ways. That's extremely fascinating because coming from the West, Islam is nothing new to us. However, we don't really understand it and we do believe that we get it fully. Islam has been present in Europe and Islam is present, unfortunately, in the media. It is depicted, of course, falsely. And therefore, everybody in the West believes they know what Islam is about, but they have no idea. And this is why they are biased, this is why they're ignorant and arrogant. However, here in Mexico, you see that Islam has a fresh start and it's absolutely beautiful because I personally do believe that if you're presented just with the information of Islam without even knowing that we are talking about bad, bad Islam, then you would accept it naturally because it is such a straightforward message. It is such a simple message. Worship one God alone. Can help us, uh, especially through Ayera, uh, give the materials. We have plenty of Qurans right now, alhamdulillah, but we do need some books uh, so that we can teach the new Muslims. Uh, the, the best way that I find to explain is like a tab. Right now, we, we just open the tab in a manner that we can handle the water that comes out of the tab. I think that if we had more resources, we can you know, open the tab a little bit more. But sometimes, for example, we don't do a lot of advertising we don't do uh, a lot of invitation to people sometimes because we are very few people and we cannot handle the amount of people that would come to the Dawa Center. We had more resources, I think we would hire more people, more dais. Uh, we, we would train more communities, more Muslims, more reverts so that we can take care of the non-Muslims that come to the Dawa Center in a better way. And of course the people that will embrace Islam so that we can take care of them and provide them the knowledge. The Guys, I'm not affiliated with this channel whatsoever and I have no idea if there is a way to support them, but I'm going to link their channel in the description box and if there is a possibility, I would highly suggest you go and support them. Support the foundations That's that amazing. they need so that they can practice their religion in a strong way, you know, in an independent way and eventually that's going to let Islam grow all over the country, inshallah. This Ramadan, inshallah. we have all right guys and this is already it for today's short video unfortunately they didn't really go into depth why the mexicans are reverting to islam however from the video we could take that islam is very new to mexico and therefore they have a fresh unbiased perspective i would believe that this is one of the main reasons because like that those people can truly see what islam is about without being brainwashed by the media telling them that islam is so violent and moreover, we know as well that in Mexico, we do already have a lot of violence coming from the cartels, coming from the drug trafficking and what not. Therefore, the Mexican people must have a totally different perspective on who the terrorists in the country are. Surely not the peace-loving Muslims. Moreover, I know that South American people love their communities and Islam provides exactly that. It provides community, a strong brotherhood. So all of that taken into consideration, it's no wonder that Islam is growing in Mexico and inshallah, we will see it grow even further. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.